Happy Friday, everyone! Happy Friday! So tonight we are going to make a yummy cocktail that we're pretty sure is going to be sweet and tasty. Yes. Which will be a little bit, um, I think, yummier than the last two. So I thought about this while I was picking it out, and Rum Sunrise, since we're using the same bottle of rum that we've been using all month, um, with, uh, so it's like a tequila sunrise, but rum, because it's ah. sweeter, and... Uh, that's what I was telling moms, you about earlier. That moms was... are sweet, and they wake up really early. Oh. Ah, yeah, that was what I was thinking. So, so a Mother's Day. Mm hmm. It's a cocktail. Mother's Day cocktail. I'm sorry, what were we saying about Hilda? I'm oh, I was on you. telling Hilda on the way. I was like, oh, it must be like a tequila sunrise. Yes. But it's just like a tequila with sunrise rum. with rum. Because moms are sweet, mm -hmm. and we yeah. wake up early. Yes. Rum sunrise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because tequila. Tequila is distilled from agave, and rum is from sugar, so, yeah. So we'll find out. So basically, what do we need? We need... So, uh, grenadine, and you can get... So she, you were, go ahead, talk about that. So I, we stopped, we were at Target, so I stopped to see the grenadine there. And the ingredients are horrible, you guys. The first one is high fructose corn syrup. They have red 40, blue one, no good. If you don't believe me, Google them. Check them out for yourself. They're not good ingredients. So I was like, there's no way I'm buying that. So we stopped by Whole Foods because we needed to go there anyway to get you some snackies. And so anyway, I saw this one and you guys, the ingredients. Even though the first ingredient is cane sugar, it's still way better than high fructose corn syrup. So, Absolutely. Filtered water, pomegranate juice, natural pomegranate flavor, citric acid, natural orange extract, natural color from fruit and berries. Yeah, that sounds much better than yeah. a bunch of dyes and high fructose corn syrup. Yeah. So anyway, what do you need? Like a splash of this? Yes. So uh, let's just line the bottom of this. Wait a second. Oh. We're yeah. going through what we have. All right. Okay. So you want to go ahead. <laughs> I'm getting excited. I and grab drink. your two glasses. Get some ice in them. And then we got, I was gonna make fresh squeezed orange juice, but we don't have our juicer with us. So I bought some fresh squeezed orange juice, some organic orange juice. Yeah, and that was probably actually just squeezed recently yeah. because it's from the cafe at Whole Foods. Yeah, so we got this, we got our orange juice, and we got our grenadine, and, and our, we got our rum. Our faithful bottle of rum. And we got some cherries. So these cherries we decide to get, okay, so everyone knows we're a little bit Earth Muffies, right? A little mm -hmm. bit Earth Muffins, and so we tried to do toxic free as possible, and um, what are the other cherries called? Like Mar what Mar Marushan cherries or whatever it is? The ones that you get in a glass bottle and they're like bright pink, so. Yeah. They're yeah. not naturally bright pink. Yeah. So go ahead, do your research on those. We're skipping those as well. Yeah. And I'm we not 100% these. sure, but I believe it's bleached and then dyed. Yeah. So you have bleached cherries and then they're dyed this neon red or pink color. So, so they all look so pretty. Yes, and they're very consistent with their look. Okay, so go ahead and let's start with the rum. Um, yes, yes, we can start with the rum. Are you gonna put a shot in, one shot? Uh, yes, one shot sounds good. What is that? Uh. One ounce is, it says one and a half, so we should do okay. one and a half shots. Okay. So, one shot. So, if you guys like the Tequila Sunrise, go ahead and comment a one. And if you're not a fan of Tequila Sunrise, go ahead and comment two. Um, I do like Tequila Sunrises, I think, but I don't actually know if I've ever had one. Oh, they're so good. Yeah, they're so good. <laughs> they're amazing. Brothers commenting in the background that they're amazing. Yeah. So, so he would definitely be a one. I don't know, has anyone ever tried a rum sunrise? I have. Oh, I tried first. Let's do... An uh, ounce. An ounce? Okay, well, sure, let's do sure, it. Let's I have no idea. Ounce. Wait, would you put that in first or last? No, so, okay, so you want it in first, it. and then you put a spoon so after you pour the grenadine in. Okay, so I'll hold this so people can see what you're doing. So, okay, all right, hold on. So we'll do, get a shot of grenadine. Okay. So a little bit red on there, and it's not the the dye one, so it's not as bright red. So yeah, when we pour the- it doesn't the, have blue one or red 40 in it. So when we pour the orange juice in there, if we put the spoon in, 
upside down. It makes it so it won't uh, like splash as much. It's just, and we'll keep the orange juice on top a little bit more and the red on the bottom or the grenadine. So then okay. you get that sunrise look if you have it on the bottom. But it's really sinking and not mixing, so it looks very so, sunrise -ish. I think we should have <laughs> another shot on top to see what that does. Okay, put another shot of grenadine on top. Yeah, sounds good to me. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so I guess the consistency of this grenadine and this orange juice mixture, it just kind of floats to the bottom. But you can kind of see it's a little bit, a uh, little bit sunrise-ish. I think so, because red's usually at the bottom yeah. uh, of the prism yeah. when you see a sunrise, so. Uh, thank you, Michelle. Sending love right back to you. And how are things going with you? Well. We gotta put a cherry. Oh, and a cherry. There you go. There All we right. go. Okay, now I gotta go ahead and make yours. Yes. Oh, there's already rum in there. Yeah, you're getting crazy. I know. I'm trying to make you a double. So, you guys, you know what I learned about Hilda today? That her and I both would love to go see Celine Dion. What? <laughs> Is she gonna be here much longer? I don't know, but. We're in Vegas, if you guys did not yeah, know. Yeah, we're in Vegas right now. And I've been wanting to go see Celine Dion for years. And everyone usually makes fun of me because of that, because they don't want to go see Celine Dion. But I think she'd be phenomenal. Is she the My Heart Will Go On lady? Yes. My heart and that's one of her people, go too. Go on. Okay, ready? All right, cherry for mine. There you go. All right, so. We should cheer. stir. No, okay. Oh, cheers. Do you want to just drink it like this? We no, can I want to stir it, but I don't want the... There you go. Because you it's it. just going to be like orange juice if we just drink it now. Yeah, and I don't want all that rum at the bottom. <laughs> so you guys. It's a shot of rum. Drink some orange juice okay. with a shot of rum. There we go. Got my cherry in there. It's all mixed around. There you go. Okay, cheers. Oh, that's delicious. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely delicious. This is my favorite drink that we've made so far, you guys. The other ones were still good, but I wouldn't want another. Yeah. This one, I'd be like, oh, I'll take another. <laughs> it's really mm. sweet. But not too sweet. Not too sweet, but like two drinks sweet. I kind of feel like if we would have got the other one, it would have been too sweet. The, the oh, yeah. Oh, and if we probably got like um, the regular carton orange juice, I feel like because they add sugar Yeah. in those ones, and this is just oranges. Yeah. So, but yeah, we don't, we the don't have. Yeah, the ingredients is organic oranges. That's it. Nothing but that. Yeah. So. so it's tasty and now as a treat we have the whole thing of cherries to munch on as well. <laughs> that's funny bonus okay so let's see next week is there a drink that you guys are interested in learning how to veganize or make a little bit healthier than the current traditional but it should include rum because we have half a bottle half a bottle left so any mixed drink should include rum so that's kind of where we're at it would be helpful it would be very helpful included rum. Yeah. also i hope you guys all have a wonderful mother's day if you're not celebrating a thing to keep in mind even if you have a tough relationship with your mom or um, you know, you feel like you've had a bad childhood or something, you can still find something that you appreciated about uh, your mom or a mother figure or somebody in your life. So it doesn't have to be a bad day for you. It can still be a day that you appreciate oh. and um, find someone to recognize in your life that did, you know. Add some good to your life. Yeah, add a little love. Yeah. A little love and nurturing to your life. So That's good. Good point. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So. Yeah. So anyway, thank you so much for joining and have a great night and we will see you all next Friday. Bye. Bye.